Good. All right. So uh, the coach Hannock uh, is calling in. I think you're calling in a day early, but that's all right. We can talk some uh, some baseball with you. Uh, South Range head baseball coach uh, Jim Hannock calling in, and Anthony and I were just talking about uh, the fact that you guys uh, you swept Poland in your season series. You knocked off Poland five to three last night. You moved to eight and one overall, four and zero oh in the. Northeast State, satisfying victory uh, two times over, beating B- Poland. Yes, uh, you, know, uh, you know, things were a little easier the night before. Uh, last night, a difficult game, and, you know, it's, it's always going to be a, a tough game when you're going in to play Poland. Uh, you know, traditionally coached, uh, great ball players on the other side, and uh, we got great pitching. Uh, Tuesday night, and we got another great pitching performance tonight. Yeah, when uh, you you get to play a team twice, and, and it's hard, always hard. It feels like to beat them the second time, you know. Uh, so talk about that going through the league and playing the team a second time around, and, and how hard it is to get these season sweeps against high to high caliber teams in the NE8. It's tough. I mean, you go in, you know, a ten nothing ball game the night before, and you know, and that's and the next night it's a five three ball game, and that's just an example of, of baseball you know you never know on any given day uh can never overlook an opponent and always need to respect your opponent and you know they gave us a great game last night their uh their pitcher i blanking on the name right now but uh, they had a phenomenal performance on their side yeah ryan delulo was the uh was the losing pitcher last yeah. night and uh, you get the victory, but you know you take a look at the rest of the Northeast State for a Division three school like yourself. Uh, this is this is a great league for you guys in that you really don't have to schedule up non conference wise, although it's always nice to do that. But you really don't have to schedule up non conference wise because this conference everyone's bigger than you, and the baseball in this conference is really solid, Coach. You're right. Uh, you know, all the other schools are Division II schools. And I think, you know, 2019 uh, being our first year, I really think it helped prepare us. You know, as 2018 did, being an independent, being able to schedule up, you know, 2019 uh, with uh, the league that we were in really prepared us well for our, for our tournament. Let's talk about this trip to Myrtle Beach. You guys played really well down there in South Carolina against some pretty good competition. What was it like just the, the, the being down there and, and getting the team bonding and and getting that atmosphere and, and the competition as well? Talk about the trip and your takeaways from it. The uh, trip went well. Uh, you know, 4-1 and one down there. And, you know, the, we lost. The one loss was in the eighth inning. So it went extra innings. And, uh, yeah, you know, it, it's a good experience for the kids. Uh, it, it's a good experience even for the parents. You know, the parents – uh, the parents bond, the, the kids bond, and usually, you know, we, we come back home playing very good baseball, and, you know, that's that's the case right now this season. South Range Head Baseball Coach uh, joining us on the MP Vivo Heating and Air Conditioning Hotline, Jim Hannock. And, Coach, uh, it's no secret, uh, you were to have had one of the best pitchers uh, coming into the 2021 campaign for his senior year in, in Jake Gehrig and unfortunately uh, Jake suffers the uh, the injury that that knocks him out for the entire year how big of a transition has it been uh, for in terms of kids having to step up and move up a spot pitchers move up a spot in the pecking order how how big of a transition has that been a little, you know, a little bit of a transition. Uh, you know, Brandon Mikos and Billy Skripak have done a remarkable job and kind of, you know, Brandon going from, from two to, to one and Billy uh, being a newcomer and stepping into the two spot for us as a sophomore and, and throwing really well. Uh, you know, it's unfortunate, you know, obviously, and, and it's, uh, you know, it's frustrating, you know, you, when you, when you sit back and think about it, but uh, the guys that we have, have have stepped up are doing a great job. And, uh, you know, Jake Gehring is, it's helped in, in a lot of respects in terms of, you know, mentoring some of those guys and working with our pitchers and, 
Uh, you know, he's been a great asset in the dugout. Even though he's not on the field for us, great asset in the dugout. You know, you are a teacher at South Range as well as the baseball coach. And so you get to see these kids not just work hard on the field, but you also get to see them work hard in the classroom. What's that dynamic like when you get to see these kids really match the definition of a student athlete and, and do just as hard work in the classroom that they do on the baseball field? It's fantastic. I mean, that's what, that's kind of what, uh, I mean, athletics is all about. Uh, you know, it, it's it's the classroom aspect, it's on-field aspect, and, you know, you get to know them better. And, and, well, you get to know them a little bit differently, I guess, uh, on the athletic field and in the classroom, and it's, you know, it's a really fun dynamic to be a part of. Jim Hannock, the head baseball coach at South Range High School, uh, joining us on the MP Vivo heating and air conditioning hotline. I wish you would have brought back some really nice weather after your trip to Myrtle Beach. I mean, come on, coach. Uh, we're, we're freezing here, and it's gonna, and it's going to be really cold today. Hopefully we're able to play baseball you know, today, but it's going to be cold. In his defense, the days that he came back were pretty nice. You know, you can only bring back some nice weather for so long. Well, that's true. <laughs> yeah, that, that is true, I guess. You're off the hook, coach. All right, thank you. I got your back, Coach. Um, you got Salem coming in tonight in kind of an on-the-fly schedule. What's that matchup going to look like, and what do you expect uh, tonight from this game? Uh, you know, it should be a, a well-played game. Uh, Salem are playing, from, from what I can uh, get from news articles and such, playing very good baseball right now. Uh, so excited to play. You know, they're, they're neighbor schools to us. It's uh, it's, a, it's a nice matchup for us. Again, another another Division II school for us, and a good test. Coach, up and down the lineup, uh, South Range has some uh, pretty good offense. Uh, you, you know, I know you guys have four hits last night in your victory over Poland, but uh, the offense begins with Trey Pancake. Uh, talk about just what this kid brings to the table and how important he is to igniting this offense. Uh, he's, he's obviously a big part. Uh, you know, right now you look, I mean, he's, he's our leading hitter. And, you know, he does it with the bat. He's a uh, very smart base runner uh, and very electric on the base pads. And, and again, just uh, really, and I think a uh, tip of the cap to him, I, I want to say he was intentionally walked uh, twice last night, pitched around once, intentionally walked twice uh, with, with first base open. So, you know, kind of a acknowledgement there of what a what a great hitter he is right now. You've been a part of the South Range community for so long. What makes this community and this school system so special and, and such a pleasure not to just coach for it, but to also work for as a teacher? Just great people. You know, it's it's from my uh, from the administration end, the teachers I teach with, uh, the students that I have in the classroom, the, the student athletes that I coach. Uh, and, and the parents, the families. Uh, just tremendous people, good people. Coach, we wish you nothing but uh, success. I mean, it, it's the Division Three tournament is going to be absolutely crazy, and I know it's it's a ways off, but, uh, boy, the talent level in D3 is going to be absurd. And then when you think about the super size that we've seen all year long, uh, there's going to be even more talent coming in from north of us uh, in the Mahoning Valley. Uh, man, I, I don't even I don't even want to know uh, how they're going to be able to do this and, and uh, how many teams are going to be able to get out of the district tournaments. But what I do know is there is a, a lot of talent in Division Three, not just in the Mahoning Valley, but north of us. Uh, and come tournament time, whoo, man, there's going to be some good games. Yeah, it's going to be exciting. I mean, you can argue this is the deepest the division has been. I mean, from what... Yeah, I think back, and I can't remember the as you just stated the talent level being as deep as it is. And and you guys have experience of making tournament runs still, uh, not just your other players, but the coaching staff. What's that going to be like this year? Because experience is one of those hot topics this year. Because you know, obviously, your sophomores didn't get the freshman season, and your juniors are still coming off their. Mm-hmm only freshman season. So what's been the experience like this year and trying to grow on the fly uh, for this season been like? It's different. Uh, you know, losing last year uh, hurt in, in some cases. Uh, not really familiar with a lot of opponents. Just 
you know, you lose track of kids when, when you miss a year. And uh, like you put it, you know, uh, juniors right now that, you know, last time they played high school baseball, uh, they played as freshmen. So, you know, there's been some, some growing pains, but I think our kids have handled it well. And we're, you know, we're, we're ramping up to prepare for the tournament here. Coach, before we let you go, let's uh, let's talk about your assistant coaches and everyone that's been helping out with the program and uh, the success that you guys have had this year. Uh, let's give some love to uh, your coaching staff. Oh, they're a tremendous group of guys. Uh, you know, again, I can't, uh, you know, I, I can't get through. I can't do what we do in practice uh, without them. Uh, it offers me the... Uh, ability to, to break guys up into small groups. Uh, you know, just a quick shout out: Don Cellis, Dion Miller, Paul Munson, Ryan Miller, and Dan Masinga. Uh, those guys have been uh, fantastic. They're just a, a great group of people to uh, to coach with, uh, to work with, and and to be friends with. Uh, it's 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 great to come to practice. It's great to come to games with that group of people. And all that being said, um, talk about just the uh, the you know you you said it earlier, and, and I'm interested in it too because Jake Gehring, everyone talks about him not playing, but he's still with the team, and he didn't just say you know peace out and the um, guys have good luck on the season. What's it been like having him in the dugout and having him be able to be a mentor to these pitchers and a mentor to these players, and, and still have him be kind of a part of the team and, and be a presence on the team. Oh, it's been it's been great. It's obviously a role change uh, for him. Uh, yeah, I mean he always uh, even as a uh, player, not not injured player, I should say, uh, active player. Uh, he always did a nice job in, in terms of mentoring the young kids, working with kids in practice, and uh, he's kind of uh, embraced the role. I, I really have to give uh, credit to him for for the maturity to you know, understand. Uh, where he's at in regards to his injury. I, I don't know if I was his age, if I would have handled this injury the way he has. Uh, so it's a, it's a little tribute to him. And he's kind of really embraced this role. And, you know, it, it's another coach there in the dugout to pull kids aside. Uh, and it's another set of eyes uh, to see things going on on the field. Coach, congratulations on the success to this point, and and uh, best of luck as you try to nail down a Northeast State uh, Conference championship and and get ready for a really good Division Three tournament coming up in about a month. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. All righty, Coach. All the best to you. Take care, guys. Thank y- you. Yes, sir. Jim Hannick, the head baseball coach over at South Range High School.